finally I can say welcome back for winter 2021 and this system is a doozy 300 millimeters of rain are forecast to fall for parts of Canterbury over the next 24 to 48 hours this is going to cause severe flooding and slips as usual we are out and about to find it all so for the first time this year cue the new and improved music Good. Church to Springfield where I have a motel room booked for the night it's also worth noting that the amount of rain which is going to fall tomorrow is potentially as much as we will see in our lifetimes it is an extremely rare event to have this much rain on the eastern side of the divide so God only knows what we are going to see tomorrow we are coming into some pretty heavy rain now. Just on the old West Coast Road, which I'm sure you guys know is problematic for roadside flooding sometimes. This is not good for visibility at all. This is like West Coast rain. It is so rare to see this sort of rain on this side of the divide. Bucketing down absolutely bucketing this is my setup for the evening Springfield Motel and Lodge absolutely bucketing down outside and I'm just doing a bit of video editing to pass the time getting ready for a busy day tomorrow so I'm just sitting here passing time and looking at some of the model runs that are coming through this evening and I really hope that the people of Canterbury are listening to the warnings that are being put out for this event. A red warning from the Met Service for the second time ever for a rain event in Canterbury. Now who, who would have called that? Because we just don't get that much heavy rain in Canterbury. It's just not something that happens due to where we are located and the Southern Alps to the west of us. 300 millimetres of rain is likely to fall in the foothills and probably 200 give or take down at the top of the plains and 100 near the coast. The flow on effect of that to the rivers down here and the tributaries to those rivers will potentially be catastrophic. The rivers are not used to handling that much rain. I think in 48 hours time we will be talking about the impacts of this storm as some of the worst to ever hit Canterbury. Good God is all I can say about what's going on currently. I'm currently driving back towards Sheffield from Springfield on State Highway 73 and it is bucketing down. I'm just going to go and meet Matt in Oxford, do some filming there apparently there's a lot of surface flooding around but good god we are seven hours into the warning and there's already areas of flooding over the highway down here very scary as well as that i've just learned that the Heathcote river back in christchurch has just burst its banks this is not good at all it really is bad Look at this now, oh my god! I'm not in Canterbury at the moment, I've teleported to the west coast. This is horrendous, horrendous conditions. It is absolutely bucketing down. I, this is some of the heaviest rain I've seen in Canterbury, I think. No, I'm sure of it.
It's just about sleet, it's so f***ing heavy. Subscribe and share our YouTube channel that Josh and I have got going. Really, really uh, important that you guys follow that if you can. You know, it's um, it takes a bit of effort for us to do this. We love doing it, but it's what I'm filming for at the moment. <laughs> Josh is filming for it at the moment. It is helpful. We've got to build our subscriber numbers, so anything you can do to help, that would be uh, much, much appreciated. This is utterly, utterly ridiculous. Oh my lord. What is that? This is officially the heaviest rain I've ever seen in Canterbury. Look at it go! Oh my god! I can only do 50 or 60 k's an hour. This is terrifying. I've driven through some conditions in my time but this is up there. I cannot believe what I'm witnessing. I'm half expecting to go around the next corner and see Noah in his ark sitting there waiting. I have never, ever, ever seen rain like this on the Canterbury Plains, ever. And to think there's the best part of 36 hours left of this. I'm currently doing 60 k's an hour and it's probably a bit quick. Just in the nice warm motel room looking at the GFS model run that came through and it's painting a very worrying picture for most of Canterbury. Pretty much all towns inland and against the foothills are showing up for 250 mils before the end of tomorrow and the even more worrying thing is that so far the models have underperformed. This is what I've woken up to this morning, 5am. Here in Springfield, absolutely bucketing down. Living in five star luxury on this chase. Look at that. That is incredible. Not even halfway through the event. And we are right about there. Oh my, what a night. It absolutely pissed down all night and now I'm just about to meet up with Matt where we're gonna go and check out some of the rivers. Oh, they're just gonna let us through, are they? Yeah. It's getting pretty bad up there, is it? Yeah, it's getting bad. Is there, a is there a slip on the pass as well, eh? Uh, no, no, it's not blocking the passes over, but there's lots of flash flooding. That's what I wonder, that some of those little streams before um, Castle Hill be getting pretty bad, eh? I mean, geez, even the koala, like we just had a look at the koala, man, that's just... Yeah. I've never seen that thing going so hard. Oh, my lord. We go right over the road. Look at this. There's still 24 plus hours to go, guys. Look at this, it's almost up in the houses. Oh, God. Tell you what, normally I chase for enjoyment and fun, but this is just not fun. This is dangerous, this is concerning. It is a bad situation. It is absolute, look at this here. All this water just streaming into people's properties, look at this. Here we are team at the Selwyn River, which is absolutely going humming. Look at that down there. And look at it there. I can't believe this. 
This is so concerning. I've never been this concerned before. I've never, ever, ever seen anything like it in my life. Look how heavy the rain is. Look at the water. Horrendous. I've never, ever seen rain like this. Pretty sure these guys have all been evacuated, all coming up the road there. Just drove past Civil Defence and Army before so they might be ushering people out. Jesus, how deep is it? Do I dare open the door? <laughs> Do I open the door? Is it? Yeah, look at that's what a foot deep. Oh, no, it's not too bad. Or not? Oh, that, yep, that, yep. <laughs> um. <laughs> look at the, is it washing the road away? It has too. <laughs> Ashburton River up here, absolutely humming as you can see. And it's even worse lower down. It's a mess, eh? Absolute mess. What is this? Taylor's Stream. Taylor's Stream. Stream. In quotations. Can't see a thing. Can't see a thing. It's alright. <laughs> She's really <definitely> worried, eh? <laughs> it's not a snow event. She's a yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think just, just put chains on and just. I, like, I know. Take a car out. <laughs> like, I think we just get to Mount Summers and assess from there because at least there's amenities there, right? Oh, things are not looking good. Just in Mount Summers currently, which has pretty much just turned into one massive river. The Ashburton River is about to go over the main State Highway 1 bridge. It's torrential rain. The road between or near Mount Hutt Station is pretty much washed out. It's in shocking condition. Um, it's really, a really serious event. So we're just coming up to uh, Mount Summers stream here. Uh, they've had over 400 mils so far. And uh, yeah, surface flooding and a big, big fat river. I don't think I've ever seen a uh, Mount Summers stream run like this. No. It's still 24 hours to go. That's nasty, eh? I love how we're calling all these streams and they're like raging torrents. He's gonna reverse. Where have you come through? And how's that back through Mount, Mount, by Mount Hutt Station? <laughs> like the road's blowing out, but like, how, was it over your bonnet? 
Nah, sweet. Yeah. Look at the road. The road's completely flooded out yeah. here, right? Is this civil defence up here? Oh, it's completely gone. Yeah. It's just gravel. Yeah. You worry that it washes out something in here? Yeah. I can't believe this river. It is absolutely humming. Look at the debris coming down. Yeah. Oh, look at the speed of that. I don't know what that used to be, but right now it's a river and a... Look at it go! My god. Look at that. It's completely blowing the fence off. And it's going under there. And coming out here. All that's just been completely washed away. Look how deep it is. It's like two meters deep, bro. Oh my, look at this. Oh, what on earth? That wasn't like that before. Look at this, the entire valley is just covered in water. And we believe it's from the Stalwin bursting its banks, which is still quite a long way up the road. Shit, shit, shit. This is where Matt and I were earlier. And look what's happened. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I wouldn't be going that way, mate. Oh my god. Absolute lead streaming into people's front yards. This is not a river. Yeah. Holy moly, mother of God.